Building your own website has never been easier thanks to modern technology at our disposal. And with amazing tools like Hostinger, we can now create beautiful looking websites in a matter of seconds. And the truth is that you can start making your own website literally right this very instant. In today's video, we're going to show you how to do just that and give you a full walkthrough tutorial on how to do everything you would need to know when it comes to actually building a beautiful looking, well-made website. We'll cover everything from what type of websites you can create, how to create them, the elements and specific tools that you'll need to do so and a host of other things that you'll have to know when it comes to building a website. Not only that, but we'll also cover everything you need to know about building your website inside of Canada, as well as all the rules, regulations, and tips and tricks that you need to know when it comes to building it inside of its orders. Make sure to watch through this entire video to the very end so you don't skip any of the steps that I talk about and so that way you don't make any mistakes. Let's get started with the first thing you need to know though, which is what is Hostinger and how can we utilize it? Hostinger is an all-in-one tool that allows you to both host domains and build websites all in the same place. They have a multitude of different tools that you can use to basically create beautiful looking websites in a matter of moments. These websites can be used for anything, whether it's a portfolio, to sell services, or to run an e-commerce brand. These are just a few examples of all the different things you can utilize Hostinger for and how you can get started with them. Now, first things first, before we show you how to build the website on Hostinger in the first place, we want to talk about the type of website we're going to build. Nowadays, you can create just about anything when it comes to websites, but it's important to think about the type of website that you're trying to build. Are you a photographer who's trying to create a centralized area to post all of your work? Or are you a businessman who's trying to run a consulting company and have people book calls with you through your website? These are just a few examples of the types of websites that you can create. And I think that each of these have their own benefits and drawbacks. Like I said, though, you should probably take out a piece of paper or pull up a Google Doc and write down 10 to 12 different things that you want to create when it comes to building your website. Once you have a clear goal for your website and the type of website that you're going to create, you can then start planning out the art direction and the overall overall style of the website. This can include things like color palette, fonts, and even logos and graphics. These are things that you can also hire somebody on Fiverr to create, or you can create them yourselves with something like Canva. Once you have all of this organized and you have a clear direction of where your website's going to want to go, you can then start to actually build your website out inside of Hostinger. I'm actually going to show you guys how you can get the best skill possible when getting started with Hostinger by using one of the links down in our description. Make sure you watch this next section all the way through and do not skip any steps so that way you get access to this amazing discount and deal. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is head down to the description and hit the link for Hostinger. Once you hit that link, you'll then be taken to a page that looks like this. This is the getting started page with Hostinger, and it's how you're going to get access to an amazing deal. As you can see, with our link, you'll get up to 75% off web hosting. You'll get 24-7 customer support. You'll get access to a free domain, which is literally a free domain that you can attach to any website of your choosing. And you'll also get access to free website migration, which allows you to migrate websites over from a different platform with little to no issues. Not only that, but this whole service is $2.99 a month plus three free months when you use our link and not even to mention the 30 day money back guarantee that you get access to as well. Now, in order to actually take advantage of this deal and get access to all these benefits, the first thing we're going to want to do is hit the start now button, which is located right here. Once we hit the start now button, it will then take us to the pricing tiers. Now, keep in mind, each of these pricing tiers are different depending on the type of features that you get with the premium tier, which is their most basic tier. You're looking at $2.99 a month plus that three free months for this, you get access to 100 websites, 25,000 visits monthly, 100 gigabytes of SSD storage, 400,000 files and directories, free pre-built templates, and a host of other features that are super helpful as well. When we go one step up to the business plan, it's going to be $3.99 a month plus those three free months. This is also their most popular plan. This plan gets you access to pretty much everything you got in the premium plan, plus a host of other really helpful benefits that you get as well. And if you're a super big organization that just needs to have access to more websites in general, I'd recommend checking out the cloud startup plan. The cloud startup plan is $9.99 a month plus those three free months on top of that. You'll get access to basically everything you got from the premium and business plan as far as features are concerned, plus a host of other features that are super helpful. Once you've made the decision on which of these plans you're going to go with, you're simply going to hit the choose plan button right here. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go with the most popular plan, which is their business plan. Once you've hit the choose an option, there's only a couple more steps before you get access to this amazing deal. The first thing you have to do is select the payment period which is basically just how often you want to pay. To save the most amount of money here, we're going to go with the 48 months option, which is saving us about 480 bucks. Plus, we're still getting those three free months on top of that as well. Once we scroll down here, it'll then ask us to create a quick account with an email and a password. And then we simply select our payment option and then obviously look over the overall payment that we ended up choosing. Once we've done all of that, we want to make sure to get access to even better of a discount by hitting this have a coupon code question mark button. Once we select this, we'll then enter in the code my first website, all caps, 
capitals, no spaces, and hit the apply button. Once you've done that, we'll get an even greater discount applied to our overall plan, giving us that much more money in savings. Once you enter in your card details and everything you need to know, you'll hit the submit secure payment button and you can get started with Hostinger just like that. Once you guys are inside Hostinger, this is what it essentially is going to look like. And basically, here's a quick rundown of what everything does. The first thing you're going to see here is your widgets, your hosting options, your domain options, and then also the AI website builder. For the hosting options, this is basically just all of your different hosting plans that you can choose to host your websites from. For the domain options, these are basically the domains that you currently own that you can essentially utilize to host the different websites. And with the AI website builder, this is basically how you can build a website with literally just a couple of clicks and have an amazingly beautiful website based on a prompt that you give their AI tool. Now, because this video is focused on websites, we're going to head over to the websites option. As you can see on the website option, we can see that these are the other websites that we currently have already built or have access to. In order to actually build a new website, we're going to head up to the top right here and hit add website. We then can either choose from a WordPress website or Hostinger's built-in website builder. We're going to show you guys how to use Hostinger's website builder because that's the fastest way to get started. We simply click that and then it will ask us to choose one of our hosting plans. Once we select our hosting plan, we then hit select plan. As you can see, it'll then prompt us to let the AI create the website for us, which is what we want. Once we've done that, we'll then just tell it our brand name, which for this instance, I can really say anything I want. I'll say it's an online store and then I'll give it a short description how it's a consulting business. And you can make that even more in depth if you'd like. That's just what I put for the sake of this video. Once we've done all that, we'll then hit create website. Once it takes a short time to get it loaded up, it'll then give us a fully featured website that we'll have full access to to do exactly what we want to do. As you can see, this is the website it's built for us and we can fully edit this in any way we want. We hit the edit button in the top right here and that will give us access to anything on the website that we'd like to change. As you can see, because this is an online store, it's asking us a few extra questions. The first thing it's going to ask is our store name, which I'm just going to put Kyle as a placeholder. And then it will ask us to set up our account. We're basically going to say for the country, we're based out of Canada. And for the currency, it's going to be in Canadian dollars. After we've done all this, we'll then hit the continue button. And then it'll ask us a few short questions about adding our first product, setting up our payment method, and updating important information about our company. Just as a quick disclaimer, make sure your company is set up properly through all of the necessary channels. Make sure to head over to Canada's government website so you can make sure you're following all of the rules and regulations when it comes to being an incorporated business. Also, make sure you have all of your documentation ready and that everything is in order. Once you've done all of that, you'll then have a fully ready to go website that you can start editing on the go and with relative ease. Make sure, of course, you're always following all of the rules and regulations inside of Canada's own specifications and within their own regulations. And of course, make sure to check out any of that on Canada's government website. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any more questions about creating a website in Canada. And of course, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you never miss any of our new videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.